Comics events come and comics events go, but relatively few leave a 25-plus year impression. The Captain America story, entitled simply The Captain, leaves just such an indelible mark. Originally published in a story which ran from 1987 to 1989 and collected in a very large trade paperback in 2011, it could be argued that this tale is one of the character's all-time high points. The premise is straightforward. The United States government demands that Captain America work directly and exclusively for said governing body, as per his original World War II agreement. Refusing their request, Steve Rogers relinquishes his longtime masked identity and takes up a new mantle as the Captain. Meanwhile, John Walker is made the new Captain America. However, to paraphrase Robert Burns, the best laid plans of men and governments often go awry. Writer Mark Grunewald penned a truly absorbing tale, containing as much action and drama as any Cap fan could want. Add to that captivating, if sometimes a bit obvious, character expansion, as well as plenty of conflict and near-perfect build-up to an extremely satisfying climax, and you have a story that truly feels like a match for anything on the racks today. Artistically, Tom Morgan handled the first six issues of the story with a rugged style which served well. But Kyron Dwyer, who was quite new to the industry at the time, took over with issue 338, and blew up the pages with an intensity and enthusiasm which fairly leapt off the page. Taking to the superhero fare like the proverbial duck to water, his characters were dynamic and emotive, and his storytelling ability kept the fever pitch pace alive throughout the narrative. The Captain is a Captain America yarn that holds up well. It's a fan favorite to this day and is highly recommended. Find it at comics shops, comics conventions, and online retailers and auctions. But try your local comic shop first.